the global value of coffee businesses currently is US dollars 460 billion. 460 billion. This is the value of the coffee in the world. However, all the coffee producing countries in the world, Africa, Brazil, Colombia, Vietnam, all of us, take only US dollars 25 billion out of this. The coffee business in the world, 460 billion. All of us, the coffee producers in the world, our share, 25 billion uh, dollars. Africa's share is US dollars 2.5 billion. Out of the 460 billion, Africa's share is 2.4 billion. With, with Uganda taking 800 million dollars, because we are now producing 800 million bags of 60 kilograms each. Germany, Germany, a non coffee producing country earns US dollars from coffee, 6.85 billion from coffee, more than all the African coffee producing countries. My young friend from Burkina Faso was asking about the, this where the problem is. I could see he's very worried, the young, the, our young soldier there. So you have the answer here. This is part of modern slavery. This is the modern slavery. What is causing this? Africa being locked into, and also locking itself into, only producing raw materials of agriculture, minerals, ETC, and abstaining from adding value. A kilogram of good coffee today and it's about US dollars 2.5. The same kilogram roasted and processed outside Africa earns about US dollars 40. So we get $2.5 for a kilo of coffee. Somebody who is clever outside gets $40. This is the hemorrhage that has stunted Africa's growth. There are other bottlenecks, but I do not have time to go into them. Therefore, my proposal to our allies of Russia, India, China, ETC, is to point out to them that they could help here by policy decisions to buy value-added products from Africa rather than raw materials. Those are products like processed coffee instead of, of bean coffee, chocolate instead of cocoa beans, 